Hey guys, I'm gonna paint on some PVC board today and I just wanted to video it maybe to see what you guys think and just see my process of what I do. So I'm just going to paint maybe I will talk a lot or not talk at all. This is going to be um, a water scene, hopefully uh, with a tree. And the thing is, this uh, lady that owns this really cool shop um, sells um, artist handmade things and um, she has somebody that builds these windows for her. And I just wondered like how cool it would be to have one made with a painting behind it. So I know there's a lot of wood in here, so I'm trying to decide like, like what direction or how detailed it has to be to you know show through i think it just needs an assemblance of a tree and the ocean and land so or a lake i'm not sure um, if it's going to be the ocean or if it's going to be a lake i think it's going to be a lake at this point but we'll see what what make how it turns out how it turns out so i am going to be using uh, diluted um, inks and from uh, pinata and I will be using some browns and golds from uh, artsy I already laid down some of the, the colors because I know this is going to be a little bit longer process than normal so <coughs> excuse me Fighting a cold, fighting a cold. I'm always fighting a cold, seems like. <clears throat> so, I'm just going to start painting. Um, I've got um, the uh, portion of ground here and ground here. So, I'm just going to start adding alcohol and start moving. I am um, inking on the rough side of the PVC board. The other side, the inks move much smoother, but since I wanted this to kind of look like a stained glass, I think that's why I chose this side. If it doesn't work, I will undo it and paint on the other side or cut out another one. Not sure. But right now I'm just gonna add alcohol to just try to blend the background a bit. I'm not going to do a whole lot to it. Really just want it to like move for me. So we'll just see like what it decides to uh, move like. It is a relatively large piece of um, PVC board. So we're just gonna, and I know I'm getting you out of my video screen, but um, hopefully that'll be okay. I think I'm going to pinch my microphone to the table so I don't have to worry about the, the wire bothering me. So if you can't hear me that well, I really do apologize. So I've got, um, this is uh, green from Pinata Jacquard's, and I have some teal that I'm going to mix for 
the water. It is diluted with 91% alcohol. Just gonna play. Just gonna play. Mix this one a little bit darker teal. I think it'll be okay. Mix some of the teals in the sky. Seems like um, turquoise and teal colors are coming back in. I remember liking them in the 80s. It just seems weird to me. Okay, so there's the teal. I'm going to add a little bit of the diluted purple to this sky. Let's see what we go from there. We'll add from the ground here. So eventually I probably am going to want um, like rock, a rocky area along the water's edge. We'll see what all that turns out like. I've got um, diluted uh, pinata blanca blanca white. Just gonna move around. Just put in some areas. And then I will blow with my I will maneuver, move um, the inks with my airbrush. I want some kind of cool background uh, colors going on because I think. I think the tree will probably be the most significant thing to stand out. I think. some alcohol, some more alcohol in here. Quite a bit, if you can tell that. I'm going to continue doing the background and I will come back when I get ready to start the, the tree for you guys. I wanted you to see what I was doing, how I was attempting the background. So we'll see what the tree comes out looking like in just a bit. I really think I want some yellows in there. I think I want some yellow in there. Just let it take over a little bit here and yonder.
I will be doing the tree with um, not so diluted colors. I gotta tell you that um, the bumpy side of PVC board um, does not move as smoothly as the smooth side. So we shall see what it all ends up looking like. I think like my background is all kind of uh, funky like and I'm just gonna use my old palette it's a bunch of dark colors this one is full of greens and yellows but I'm gonna first start with this one here and see if I can't draw some semblance of a tree I'm just going to reactivate my um, inks with alcohol in here, just any of them, because I'm probably going to dip into all of them. And I'm going to add from the art scene a, a dark brown. I can't really read what it is. I'm sorry. Maybe you guys can see it. Not sure. But it's what happens when. You can't really see very well, but that's okay. I'm about used to it. So I'm just going to see how badly I'm going to mess this up. Because I want to just start drawing. It's probably not going to be the, the main line of it. But I'm just going to try to do a bit of an outline. I think I want to come all the way over here. And just bend all my lines here just to get a semblance of a tree started. I'm probably going to make it, uh, what do you call it, uh, a double trunk here. And I'm going to run the tree actually all the way off the canvas. But we'll see how I can get the trunk to start forming. And of course, you know, when you mix your alcohols with what's already on your palette, it is going to take up some of those colors. So it's kind of a cool thing, I think. I really want to try and get this a double loaded trunk and I just keep drawing lines until it ends up being what I want just added a little bit of blue in there if you think about it just a little bit you can just start mixing all kinds of colors And it gives you a pretty cool uh, trunk system. It gives you a really nice bark. Run that one off of that way. And you make your trees however 
you want them. Nobody um, can make them anywhere near being the same. So you just do what makes you feel good. Plant them wherever you want. I think I'm going to come off right over the water here with a branch. Just pull some off. I've got a flat brush and I'm just painting with the edge of it. We took one off there. I think it'll come from the ground. Up this way. Most of it's not going to be seen because of the frame of the wood window. You just want to finish out your strokes. And sometimes you come up with really nice branches and sometimes you come up with um, happy accidents. You just keep going until it becomes what you want. This one's got to come up a little bit thicker. Probably gonna let it dry just a bit. Um, set the window on it and see if I'm anywhere where I need to be with all of my shapes and everything. Because you don't want to waste strokes, I don't think. This branch needs to be wider. You also want to form where your where your light comes from. And you want to highlight there. So you should always be thinking about that. When you're drawing all of your lines. Bring this one out a little bit thicker. And cut it any which direction you want. So, so you get the gist of the tree, right? See how it turns out. It's kind of exciting watching it all come together with your background and all, all good things. I think I'm going to do just a hint of a tree coming out here. And he's going to be a crooked tree. So it'll just be part of a branch from another tree over here. a piece. 
and we'll run one more up to here and come across in front of this one. Do you get it just how you want it? Some different colors in this one. Put a knot in it here. Kind of like it, kind of like it. I am just going to put some dark down here. Let the tree pick up. So that's part of the tree. I'm going to add other palette. Going to just lay in some Blanca Blanca white and one of these lighter colors, and see what how we can highlight just a bit. So we'll just highlight along. Some of the edges because I'm saying that my lights coming from here so just making some lightness Now we'll come back in again with light again because as most of, most of you know the the Blanca takes on the color that you're painting on it just like lightens it up a bit so just going to give it a little bit of lightness here and there and then I will do dark I will do dark. Let this set for a few minutes and lay the frame back on it.
just making some highlights in it. Mm -hmm. They will they will seep in and come out pretty good. Oh. On this up here, I think I'm going to want it to be uh, some kind of rocks with some greenery down here. I haven't quite uh, made up my mind, but I do want highlights in it, and I want dark places in it, and uh, I will want all of these things and here to come up with some kind of um, little trees maybe I'm just gonna lay in some shadows so they can come in around the, the water's edge here Just a few. Not a ton. So just the shadows. Just some shadows. some kind of bush-like trees will come in and um, on the edge of the water and see what all of that comes in looking like. So I think we need a few more. We'll be putting some greens in there too, so just want them to look like they're in the background. A few. So they will sink in and have a nice uh, morning glow. What do you think? I don't know what it's going to end up like. I don't think it looks terrible now. So, we'll just see. Let's see how it all falls in to place. Do you want some like bright colors? Fall in. You just have to watch them rebloom and how they end up. right here. Awesome. It's a whimsical of some kind of effect. All of your greens are gonna like stack up on top of the tree branches so you'll have all your green colors and, and your 
think I'll be making a, like teal um, branches, I mean leaves and whatnot. So we'll just see how all of this just plays out. kinds of branches. I don't like that one there. It's a good thing it's probably not going to show. Got too much dark in it. drawing lines because you do want, you want a full tree. see what the frame looks like. Let me do that. Let's see what it's going to appear like. Most awesome thing about alcohol inks, you know what that is? They dry so quick. So let's kind of see what it looks like. I still love the oranges and all of those colors. I'm just going to raise this up and try to get you to go over it. How does that look? Still needs all different kinds of colors in it. But I think it will end up looking mostly like a stained glass window. Hopefully, hopefully it will. I'm going to take me this way a bit so we can continue to paint. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm just gonna sit down and start putting the uh, leaves on, just in different places, and I'm just gonna hopefully drop nice and neatly um, the leaves everywhere. I want them to be like really cool in color, hopefully. They're going to be cool in colors. I am still using the diluted alcohol ink, so they spread just a tad. So do those few that way and get my yellow wherever a yellow is, and I'm just going to drop some yellows in. Just let them all mix in as clumps of Leaves, lots of leaves. Just 
lots of leaves in here. let all the colors move. All the pretty colors move. building on top of them and hope they turn out pretty. You hope. And you hope that like the highlightness of it will shine through the the frames of the barnwood window. Just going to mix them. This is um, straight up block of white. to truly highlight. All of the leaves. Just gonna set some lines in them. This one is a green, an actual green, instead of the teal colors. So you just put and let them just let them show up. show up. And we'll see how they all pan out. When I get all the background parts of the leaves done, I will go in with straight inks with the teal and um, give it uh, a lot of shadows and such as that. I'm just going to keep working on them until come out how we want them 